Good morning all. Welcome to Examiner's 365. Hope you all are good and safe. In this video, we are going to do a weekly roundup. We will discuss the most important current affairs questions and answers from 11th to 17th December 2022. Do watch the video till the end. Let's begin the session. India's largest business jet terminal was commissioned at which airport? Cochin International Airport. Kerala Chief Minister Pinrai Vijayan inaugurated the country's first chartered gateway and a business jet terminal at the Cochin International Airport. With this, Cochin Airport has become the fourth airport in the country to operate a private jet terminal. Who has sworn in as the 15th Chief Minister of Himachal Pradesh? Sukhbinder Singh Sugu. Sukhbinder Singh Sugu, a four-time MLA, sworn in as the 15th Chief Minister of Himachal Pradesh. Mukesh Agnihotri, sworn in as the Deputy Chief Minister of Himachal Pradesh. Let's talk about Himachal Pradesh. Capital is of Himachal Pradesh. Its summer capital is Shimla and winter capital is Dharamshala. Who is the governor of Himachal Pradesh? Rajendra Vishwanath Aradkar. Let's move to the next question. Prime Minister Narendra Modi inaugurated the Mopa International Airport, which is situated in which state or unit territory? The answer is Goa. Prime Minister Narendra Modi inaugurated the first phase of the International Airport at Mopa in North Goa. He named the airport after the late Goa Chief Minister Manohar Parikar. The airport will have the capacity to handle 44 lakh passengers a year in the first phase and will go up to 1 crore passengers a year after the entire project is complete. Let's talk about Goa. Where is the capital of Goa? Panaji. Who is the Chief Minister of Goa? Pramod Savad. Who is the Governor of Goa? P.S. Sridharan Pillai. Which state or unit territory has been awarded the first prize in the category for Ayushman Bharat Health Accord ID generation? Jimmu and Kashmir Jimmu and Kashmir has been awarded first prize in the category for Ayushman Bharat Health Accord ID generation and second prize in the category for teleconsultation conducted during the celebration of Universal Health Coverage Day 2022, which is being celebrated on 10th and 11th December at International Cooperation and Convention Center, Varanasi, Uttar Pradesh. Let's talk about Jammu and Kashmir. Capital of Jammu and Kashmir. Srinagar is the summer capital and Jammu is the winter capital. Who is the left hand corner of Jammu and Kashmir? Manoj Singha. India's first carbon neutral firm was inaugurated in which state? Kerala. Kerala Chief Minister Pinrai Vijayan declared a seed farm located in Alva as the first carbon neutral farm in the country. A significant reduction in carbon emission has helped the seed farm under the Agriculture Department achieve the carbon neutral status. What is carbon neutrality? Carbon dioxide emissions are one of the main causes of climate change. According to the European Parliament, carbon neutrality is reached when the same amount of carbon dioxide is released into the atmosphere as is removed by various means, leaving a zero balance, also known as carbon footprint. The total amount of carbon emissions from the farm located at Turtu in Alba in the last one year was 43 tons and its overall procurement was 213 tons. Let's talk about Kerala. Where is the capital of Kerala? Tiruvannathapuram. Who is the Chief Minister of Kerala? Pindrai Vijayan. Who is the Governor of Kerala? Arif Mohammad Khan. Who has taken oath as the Chief Minister of Gujarat? Bupendra Patel. In Gujarat, Bupendra Patel has taken oath as the new Chief Minister of the state for the second consecutive term. 
He is being administrated oath as the 18th Chief Minister of the state by Governor Ajarya Devrat. Let's talk about Gujarat. Where is the capital of Gujarat? Gandhinagar. Who is the governor of Gujarat? Ajarya Devrat. Let's move to next question. Which company has launched India's first mass segment flex fuel prototype car? Maruti Suzuki. Maruti Suzuki India Limited has unveiled wagon R flex fuel prototype model in Delhi. The first of its kind mass segment flex fuel prototype car was launched in the presence of Union Minister of Road Transport and Highways Nidin Gadkari. Aligned with the government's clean and green initiatives, the wagon R flex fuel prototype has been designed to run on any ethanol petrol blend between 20% and 85% fuel. The car is designed and developed locally by engineers of Mahati Suzuki with necessary support from Suzuki Motor Corporation Japan. Which state has become the first state in India to launch its own climate change mission? Tamil Nadu. Tamil Nadu Chief Minister M.K. Stalin launched the Tamil Nadu Climate Change Mission to protect the natural resources in the state besides restoring them on a long-term basis. During the budget for 2021-2022, to the state government announced the launch of the Tamil Nadu Climate Change Mission for an outlay of Rs 500 crore to undertake climate change management and mitigation activities. Following this, the government established India's first Tamil Nadu Green Climate Company, a special purpose vehicle to implement three major natural conservation projects, namely Green Tamil Nadu Mission, Tamil Nadu Wetlands, and Tamil Nadu Climate Change. India's first Dugong Conservation Center also set up in Tamil Nadu. Let's talk about Tamil Nadu. Where is the capital of Tamil Nadu? Chennai. Who is the Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu? M.K. Stalin. Who is the governor of Tamil Nadu? R. N. Vivi. The Navy of India and which country conducted the 39th edition of Coordinated Patrol named Ind Indo Corbat? Indonesia. The 39th edition of India Indonesia Coordinated Patrol between the Indian Navy and Indonesian Navy is being conducted from 8 to 19 December 2022. As part of Government of India's vision, Sagar, security and growth for all in the region, Indian Navy has been proactively engaging with countries in the Indian Ocean region to enhance maritime security in the region. India and Indonesia have been carrying out corpads twice a year since 2002 with an aim of keeping this vital part of the Indian Ocean region safe and secure for commercial shipping, international trade, and conduct of legitimate maritime activities. Let's talk about Indonesia. Where is the capital of Indonesia? Jakarta. Who is the president of Indonesia? Joko Widodo. What is the currency of Indonesia? Indonesian rupee. Let's move to next question. What is the name of the cyclonic storm that is predicted to bring heavy rainfall in parts of Tamil Nadu? Mandas. Cyclone Mandas, a cyclonic storm, is predicted to bring heavy rainfall in parts of Tamil Nadu, according to the Indian Meteorological Department. What does Cyclone Mandas mean and how are storms named? Cyclones are named by the World Meteorological Organization, which maintains a list of rotating names. The name Mandas was suggested by the United Arab Emirates in 2020 as a member of World Meteorological Organization. It means treasure box in Arabic. Note on these points. Which state's forest department has launched the Vani Karan afforestation project to root out invasive plants? Kerala. The Forest Department, in association with Nolpura Gram Panjayat, has launched the Vani Karan project to root out invasive plants, especially Sena Spectables, 
and restored natural forests. The project was being executed on 30 hectares of forest land under the Sultan Bateri Forest Range of the Wayanad Wildlife Sanctuary. Let's talk about Kerala. Where is the capital of Kerala? Tiruvannathapuram. Who is the Chief Minister of Kerala? Pinrai Vijayan. Who is the Governor of Kerala? Arif Muhammad Khan. India's first carbon neutral farm was inaugurated in Kerala. Note on this point also. Let's move to next question. Which state or unit territory has launched the Orino Day 2.0 scheme? Assam. Assam Chief Minister Himanta Biswa Sharma inaugurated Orino Day 2.0 scheme. What is this scheme? Under this scheme, women in the state can avail of nearly rupees 1,000 every month. With financial outlay for Orino Day at 4,142 crore per annum. This scheme is billed as one of the largest direct beneficiary transfer (DBT) schemes in the country. Let's talk about Assam. Where is the capital of Assam? Dispur. Who is the Chief Minister of Assam? Himanta Biswa Sarma. Who is the Governor of Assam? Jagdish Mukhi. Which of the following products received a GA tag recently? All the above. The government has granted geographical indications GA tag to various products, including gamaso of Assam, tandoor red gram of Telangana, and an apricot variety of Ladakh. What do you mean by GA? A geographical indication GA is a sign used on products that have a specific geographical origin and possesses qualities or a reputation that are due to that origin. The Commerce and Industry Ministry said that the total number of GA has reached to 432. The top four states holding maximum number of GAs are Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, Uttar Pradesh, and Kerala. Who is the Minister of Textiles, Minister of Consumer Affairs, Food and Public Distribution, and Minister of Commerce and Industry, Piyush Goel? The 8th India International Science Festival 2022 to be held in which city? Bhopal. India International Science Festival will be held in Bhopal in January 2023. It is one of the key events to take place after India assumed the G20 presidency. It is a project of the Government of India's Ministries of Science and Technology and Earth Science in collaboration with Vijayanagara Bharati, a science movement with a Swadeshi ethos. headed by notable scientists from throughout the nation who is the minister of earth science minister of state in the department of space and department of atomic energy minister of state for personal public grievances and pensions and minister of state for prime minister's office dr jitendra singh Which state has backed the National Energy Conservation Award 2022 by Power Ministry? Karnataka. The Union Ministry of Power has selected Karnataka Renewable Energy Development Limited to be the winner of the first prize in the state designated agency sector at the National Energy Conservation Awards 2022. The National Energy Conservation Awards 2022 was organized by the Bureau of Energy Efficiency as part of the National Energy Conservation Day. at weekend bhavan in delhi national energy conservation day observed on december 14 let's talk about karnataka where is the capital of karnataka bengaluru who is the chief minister of karnataka basavraj bommai who is the governor of karnataka tapachand gold Which international organization has recognized Namami Gangi among the top 10 world restoration flagship projects? The answer is UN, United Nations. The United Nations has recognized the Namami Gangi initiative to rejuvenate River Ganga as one of the top 10 world restoration flagship aimed at reviving the natural world. Launched in 2014, The Namami Gangi initiative is aimed at rejuvenating the River Ganga. 
According to an official release, all these initiatives were selected under the United Nations Decade on Ecosystem Restoration, a global movement coordinated by the United Nations Environment Programme and the United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization. Let's talk about UN. The United Nations is an international organization founded in 1945 and committed to maintaining international peace and security, developing friendly relations among nations, promoting social progress, better living standards and human rights. It founded on 24th October 1945, where is the headquarters of UN, New York, with the Secretary General of UN, Antonio Guterres. Let's move to the next question. What is India's rank in the Art and Capital Passport Index 2022? 69. India has ranked 69 in the world's strongest passport list. While UAE ranked first in the rating of passports for 2022 has been made public recently. With the UAE passport, travelers can enter 180 countries hassle-free, 121 countries visa-free with a visa on arrival facility for 59 countries. They only require visa for 89 countries. Passport Index 2022 published by Art and Capital is the ranking of the world's strongest and weakest passports and it tells you the number of countries you can enter without acquiring a visa. Bit City will host the first meeting of the G20 finance track under India's G20 presidency, Bengaluru. The first G20 finance and central bank deputies meetings are scheduled to be held in Bengaluru on December 13 to 15, 2022. Let's talk about G20 or Group of 20. It is an intergovernmental forum comprising 19 countries in the European Union. It works to address the major issues related to the global economy such as international financial stability, climate change mitigation and sustainable development. India has formally assumed the presidency of the G20 on December 1st, 2022. India will hold the presidency till 30th November 2023. What is the theme of India's G20 presidency? Vasudeva Kudumbagam or One Earth, One Family, One Future? Who is the G20 Sherpa of India? Amidab Kant. Udaipur hosts the first G20 Sherpa meeting under India's presidency. Note on this point also. Who is the chairman of G20? Prime Minister of India, Narendra Modi. Which country has become the first African country to reach World Cup semi-finals? Morocco Morocco became the first African country to reach the World Cup semi-finals by beating Portugal 1-0. Which country is hosting World Cup 2022? Qatar Let's talk about Morocco. Where is the capital of Morocco? Rabat Who is the king of Morocco? Mohammed VI who is the Prime Minister of Morocco? Assis Akronot. What is the currency of Morocco? Moroccan dirham. Let's move to the next question. Which international organization's Vice President Eva Kelly has been suspended from her duties? European Union. Eva Kelly, a lawmaker at the European Parliament and one of its 14 elected Vice Presidents, has been suspended from the Parliament's Socialist and Democrats group and expelled from the Greek center left Fasok party. She has been suspended from her duties after being caught up in an investigation into influence peddling at the EU Assembly allegedly involving officials from Qatar. Let's talk about European Union. The European Union is a unique partnership between 27 European countries known as Member States or EU countries. Together, they cover much of the European continent. Citizens of the EU countries are also EU citizens. It founded in 1st November 1993, where is the headquarters of European Union, Brussels, who is the President of European Commission, Ulsra von der Leyen. 
She topped on the Forbes list of the world's 100 most powerful women. Not on this point also. Which country has successfully launched the first ever Arab lunar spacecraft? UAE. A SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket carried into space the first ever Arab lunar spacecraft. What is the name of lunar over UAE? Rashid. It was launched from the Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida. The Rashid over was built by Dubai's Mohammed bin Rashid Space Center in the United Arab Emirates and is being delivered by the Hakato R lander engineered by Japanese lunar exploration company iSpace. The rover is named in honor of late Sheikh Rashid Al Said, the former ruler of Dubai and the father of Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid, vice president and ruler of Dubai. Let's talk about UAE. Where is the capital of UAE? Abu Dhabi. Who is the president of UAE? Mohammed bin Said Al Nahyan. Who is the prime minister of UAE? Mohammed bin Rashid Al Makyum. What is the currency of UAE? United Arab Emirates Dirham. Which country has printed its first banknotes with women's signatures recently? The answer is USA. The US Treasury has printed the first US banknotes with two women's signatures. The new currency notes of $1 and $5 value carry the signature of the Secretary of Treasury. Janet Yellen and Lynn Malerba. The United States currency notes are popularly called as greenback. Let's talk about USA. Where is the capital of USA? Washington DC. Who is the president of USA? Joe Biden. What is the currency of USA? US dollar. According to Forbes, who is the richest person in the world? Bernard Arnold. He is the co-founder, chairman and chief executive of LVMH Motor Hennessy, Louis Vuitton SC, the world's largest luxury goods company. Twitter's new boss, Elon Musk, has been displaced from his position at the top of the world's richest people list. Arnold is worth 186.2 billion US dollar, according to Forbes. According to the 2022 Visaki Newsmakers Report, which is India's most visible company in the media, Reliance Industries Limited. Reliance Industries Limited, India's largest corporate by revenues, profits, and market value, topped the 2022 Visaki Newsmakers Report as India's most visible corporate in the media. State Bank of India, ICIC Bank Limited, Bharti Airtel Limited, and One Line Communication Limited, which owns Paytm are the other firms in the top 5 rankings. Visaki's news score is the world's first standardized metric to measure news visibility for brands and individuals using artificial intelligence, big data, machine learning and media intelligence. The European Union has agreed to grant membership candidate status to which country? Bosnia. EU countries have agreed to grant Bosnia candidate status to join the Union, putting the Balkan nation at the start of a long road to membership. Russia's war on Ukraine has spread fresh life into European Union's willingness to consider letting in more of its eastern neighbors after years at a standstill. Let's talk about European Union. The European Union is a unique partnership between 27 European countries known as Member States or EU countries. Together they cover much of the European continent. Citizens of the EU countries are also EU citizens. It founded on 1st November 1993, where is the headquarters of European Union, Brussels, Belgium, who is the president of European Commission, Ulsara von der Leyen. She has stopped on the Forbes list of the world's 100 most powerful women. Note on this point also. Let's move to next question.
which country has passed a law banning cigarettes for future generations new zealand new zealand passed a law banning cigarettes for future generations in the country it is considering an attempt to bring in a near total tobacco ban from next year the law passed by parliament means that anyone born after 2008 will never be able to buy cigarettes or tobacco products in the country according to government statistics released in november the smoking rate in new zealand is already one of the lowest in the world with just 8% of adults smoking daily let's talk about new zealand where is the capital of new zealand wellington who is the prime minister of new zealand jessica ardern what is the currency of new zealand new zealand dollar Who will become the chief scientist of WHO World Health Organization? Dr. Jeremy Farrar. World Health Organization announced that Dr. Jeremy Farrar will become its new chief scientist. Currently, director of the Wellcome Trust, Dr. Farrar will join WHO in the second quarter of 2023. As WHO's chief scientist, Dr. Farrar will oversee the science division. bringing together the best brains in science and innovation from around the world to develop and deliver high quality health services to the people who need them most no matter who they are and where they live let's talk about who the world health organization who is a specialist agency of the united nations responsible for international public health it founded on 7th april 1948 Where is the headquarters of WHO? Geneva, Switzerland. Who is the Director General of WHO? Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus. Which country has declared Nevada wildflower as endangered species? USA. In the United States, wildlife officials declared a Nevada wildflower endangered as the only place it is known to exist. on a high desert ridge where a lithium mine is planned to help them meet the growing demand for electric car batteries the fish and wildlife service has formally listed the hems buckwheat and its accompanying area of 910 acres for the 6 inch tall flower with yellow blooms with an estimated remaining population of only about 16000 plants the service concluded that the hems buckwheat is on the brink of extinction Let's talk about USA. Where is the capital of USA? Washington DC. Who is the president of USA? Joe Biden. What is the currency of USA? United States dollar. Which country has announced the historic nuclear fusion breakthrough? USA. Scientists in the United States have unveiled a long-awaited revolution in nuclear fusion technology. Nuclear fusion differs from nuclear fission, the energy employed in the production of atomic weapons. Nuclear fusion energy powers heavily entities such as the sun and stars and has previously been considered an attainable kind of energy. Let's move to next question. Which country has been ousted from UN Women's Group after the US campaign? Iran Iran was ousted from a United Nations women's group for policies contrary to the rights of women and girls a move proposed by the United States after the French crackdown on protests over the death of a young woman in custody India has voted against removing Iran from the United Nations Economic and Social Council the main global intergovernmental organization committed to promoting gender equality and women's empowerment Let's talk about Iran. Where is the capital of Iran? Tehran. Who is the supreme leader of Iran? Ali Khamenei. Who is the president of Iran? Ibrahim Raisi. What is the currency of Iran? Iranian rial. According to the Lancet report, which country has seen the highest number of cervical cancer cases and deaths in Asia? India. According to the latest Lancet report, 
more than 58% of all cases of cervical cancer globally were estimated in Asia, followed by Africa, Europe, and Latin America. As Asia reported the maximum number of cases across the world, India recorded the highest number of cases and deaths due to cervical cancer among its Asian peers. The latest report titled Global Estimates of Incidence and Mortality of Cervical Cancer in 2020 a baseline analysis of the WHO Global Cervical Cancer Elimination Initiative highlights the glaring reality of cervical cancer in the world. Which country has launched a group of friends to promote accountability for crimes against peacekeepers? India India has launched a group of friends to promote accountability for crimes against peacekeepers with external affairs minister S. J. Shankar announcing that New Delhi will soon have a database that will record all crimes against the blue helmets. What does it mean by blue helmet? A soldier who is a United Nations peacekeeper and who wears the distinctive light blue helmet worn by such peacekeepers. India, Bangladesh, Egypt, France, Morocco, and Nepal are co-chairs of the group of friends to promote accountability for crimes against peacekeepers launched during India's current presidency of the UN Security Council. Who has won the 2022 Arthur Ashe Humanitarian Award? Andy Murray. And Murray has won the 2022 Arthur Ashe Humanitarian Award for supporting and contributing to humanitarian efforts for war-affected children in Ukraine. The former world number one tennis player has donated all his income from all the tournaments this year. Let's talk about the Arthur Ashe Award. It is mainly awarded to tennis players for contributing to society and the world. Who has officially elected as the first woman president of Indian Olympic Association? P.T. Usha The legendary former athlete P.T. Usha officially elected as the first woman president of Indian Olympic Association. The 58-year-old Usha, a multiple Asian Games gold medalist and a fourth-place finisher in the 1984 Olympics 400-meter hurdles final. Let's talk about Indian Olympic Association. The Indian Olympic Association or Indian Olympic Committee is the body responsible for selecting athletes to represent India at the Olympic Games, Asian Games and other international athletic meets and for managing the Indian teams at these events. It founded in 1927, where the headquarters of Indian Olympic Association, New Delhi, who is the Minister of Sports and Youth Affairs, Andhrap Thakur. Who has been appointed as the Managing Director of the National Dairy Development Board? Miner C. Shah National Dairy Development Board has appointed Miner C. Shah as its Managing Director. Let's talk about the National Dairy Development Board. It is a statutory body set up by an Act of the Parliament of India. The first chairman of NDTDB was Fergus Kurian. He is also called as the father of white revolution in India. Note down this point. Who has taken charge as the chairman of NABARD? Shaji KB. Shaji KB has taken the charge as chairman of National Bank for Agriculture and Rural Development, NABARD. He has taken over from Sujindra Mishra, additional secretary, Department of Financial Services, Ministry of Finance, who was holding the additional charge of NABARD. Let's talk about NABAD. National Bank for Agriculture and Rural Development NABAD is an apex regulatory body for overall regulation of regional rural banks and apex cooperative banks in India. It founded on 12th July 1982. Where is the headquarters of NABAD? Mumbai. What is India's annual wholesale price-based inflation in November 2022? 5.85% India's annual wholesale price-based inflation eased in November to a 21-month low of 5.85% year-on-year 
export prices moderated. In October, the WPA based inflation was 8.39%. In November 2021, the WPA based inflation was 14.87%. What do you mean by inflation? Inflation is a measure of the rate of change in prices of selected goods and services. In simple terms, it is a rise in price levels of goods and services of daily use. Inflation is expressed as a percentage. Also, it shows the fall in the purchasing power of a rupee. The measures of inflation are the consumer price index and wholesale price index. WPA measures wholesale level price change while CPA measures retail level price changes. Consumer price based index is one of the most widely used indicators for identifying inflation or deflation in an economy. In India, consumer price index replaced the wholesale price index in the year 2013 as a measure of inflation. As per the Asian Development Bank, what is India's GDP growth for the current financial year? 7% The Indian economy is set to grow at 7%, said the Asian Development Bank, as it kept its outlook for India's economic growth unchanged for the ongoing fiscal year. For 2023-2024, the GDP growth has been kept unchanged at 7.2%. What do you mean by GDP? Gross domestic product GDP is a monetary measure of the market value of all the final goods and services produced and sold in a specific time period by countries. Let's talk about Asian Development Bank. It is a regional development bank established to promote social and economic development in Asia. It founded on 19 December 1966, where it's the headquarters of Asian Development Bank, Mandaluyong, Philippines who is the president of Asian Development Bank, Masatagu Asakawa. Let's check some of the important days in December. 11th December observed as UNICEF Day. 12th December Universal Health Coverage Day. Theme is Build the World We Want, a Healthy Future for All. 14th December National Energy Conservation Day. 16th December observed as Vijay Divas. Kargil Vijay Divas observed on 26th July. Note on these important days. Grand Wal passed away. He was a journalist. A prominent football journalist from the United States has died while covering the FIFA World Cup in Qatar. Grand Wal collapsed as extra time began in the Argentina Netherlands game on Friday night. Kenneth Lawrence Powell passed away. He was an athlete. Olympian and India's 1970 Asian Games 4 into 100 meter relay bronze winning team member Kenneth Powell passed away. He was one of the top sprinters of the country in the 1960s. He was popularly known as the Gentleman Sprinter, was an Indian track and field athlete from the state of Karnataka. Sulochana Chavan passed away. She was a singer. Renowned Marathi Lavani singer Sulochana Chavan passed away. Earlier this year, she was awarded the Padma Sri and also conferred the title of Lavani Samardini for her contribution to the traditional Maharashtrian musical channel of Lavani associated with the folk theatre of Tamasha. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked the video and you have received some important points. How was the video? If you find this helpful, please like the video and subscribe to our channel and share it with your friends. To get daily current affairs notes, please subscribe to our channel. See you tomorrow. Bye. Take care.